Good morning. My name is Sarah Eberhard, and I'm the youth minister here at Sacred Heart in Troy. I'm here with today's daily reading and reflection. As you probably already know, today we celebrate the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. As I was praying through the readings today, I can honestly say that there wasn't any one line that stuck out to me in particular, but what does stick out to me is the trust that Mary had in God. As I was praying through the readings this morning, it reminded me of a quote from one of my favorite saints, St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta, and she says this, We need to know when we say yes to God exactly what is in that yes. Yes means I surrender totally, fully, without any counting the cost, without asking, is this convenient? Our yes to God is without any reservation. As I'm reading through this, it reminds me of times in my life when I've had to make say yes to God in big ways and whenever I've had to say yes to God in little ways. The biggest way I've had to say yes is by taking this job at Sacred Heart. For those of you that don't know, before I was here as youth minister, I was in banking for 10 years, and I was very comfortable there. And when this opportunity came up, it was a very scary step for me to leave what I was comfortable doing and taking the leap to leave that job and come here. But I do know through prayer and through saying yes to God, like this has brought me so much joy being here, more, more joy than I could have experienced at the bank for sure. And it's nothing wrong with that job. It's just this is the path that God had for me. And through a lot of prayer, it brought me peace and knowing this is where I need to be. And as a person that really does like to be in control of things a lot, it was hard for me to surrender that to God, and it was hard for me to say yes. Now, on a smaller level, like every day we have opportunities to say yes to God. It could be, yes, God, like I'll go to church today, or yes, God, like I'll spend some actual equality time in prayer with you instead of binge-watching the Netflix. It could be, Yes, God, like I choose to take the step to go to reconciliation, even though it's been a really long time. I'm going to say yes to that because I know that the healing that I'm going to get from that is going to make, it's going to be great. It could be, yes, God, like I'm going to choose not to gossip about this person. And I'm going to choose to follow you instead of like following along with what everyone else is doing. There's lots of opportunities to say yes to God on a daily basis. And I will say from my own personal experience, like trusting God can be very hard. But I can promise you that once we do fully trust in him, it brings us a joy that we could never attain ourselves. One of my very favorite prayers is the litany of trust. This is just a beautiful litany that was written by the Sisters of Life. Um, If you don't have it, highly recommend Um, And one of my favorite, favorite lines in that litany is, from the fear that trusting you will leave me more destitute, deliver me, Jesus. Where is God calling you to say yes today in your life? Maybe it's some in a big way. Maybe it's in a small way. I challenge you today to find those places that God is, is calling you to say yes to him. And I guarantee the joy that you will receive from that is nothing like anything else you've ever experienced. Have a blessed day, Sacred Heart, and enjoy the rest of your Advent. God bless you.